Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our Let's Play as the Great El Salvador, now the Central American Empire. <clears throat> we are at war with, guess who, it's Colombia still. But hey, things are looking so fantastic with their three divisions that, uh, I'm sure within like ten minutes of this episode, at the very latest, we're going to be controlling all of Colombia. After that, we have to kind of consider our, our uh, decisions a little bit carefully, because... The Americans up here have a lot of manpower, and they happen to have completed Pax Americana, and that's kind of a problem for us, so, uh, let's, uh, let's see how this plays out. If Germany decides to invade the Americans, hey, we are good to go in business. We can help invade them from the south through the Mexicans, but I have a feeling that if Germany doesn't successfully land anywhere, uh, that'll be a problem for us. That'll be a big, big problem. But in the meantime, let's check out this battle. I like watching their uh, the strength kind of just drop. I have to take a look at the strength too. Oh they, no, they they're gonna probably drop their organization for the strength. It's okay. How long does it take? Five days. Not, not a problem. Eighteen percent strength. Man, I wish I had some water right now because man, I am thirsty and I've been recording for literally a two and a half hour session so far. Ah, oh, it has been a journey. It's been a journey. <clears throat> Should be done pretty soon. If not their organization, then their strength. Uh, organization, I think, is going to collapse first, and after that, they can try and regain their strength, but with the no manpower that they have, I'm not sure it's going to really happen effectively, so let's just sort of make their situation even worse. Uh, no, I don't want you guys to attack. You guys stop attacking. Don't, don't do that. Another problem is, those guys are walking. Stop walking. You're gonna like recapture one thing and you're gonna be like mildly inconvenienced, but at the same time it's not a really big problem. Although they won't capitulate, I'm sure that something's gonna happen here once I take their capital. Well, maybe they will capitulate, I don't know. You guys are really gonna try to attack into me? Seriously? Like like right like you decided to attack in here instead of marching there when you probably could have 100 percent taken it. I mean hey, if you're gonna do that thing, I'm gonna do that back. I mean, that's just how it is. In fact, I might just want to encircle the whole thing. I'm just saying. Encirclement. Hey, it works. Let's head over to nuclear bombs. Well, not quite. Experimental rockets. Probably going through all the wrong things right now, but hey, uh, I'm not the greatest player, and I didn't say I was, so. Shut up. It's fine. It's fine. Right. Be able to cripple this division and then just keep pushing it forward until we can sort of cripple whoever's left here. Perhaps instead of going over there, I want you guys to get over there and then there. Okay, yeah, no, you guys were going the right place. I'm just, I'm just stupid. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. You guys are just not done yet. Six days. Well, I mean, it's not gonna be six days because you're gonna lie to me again. Of course, too. Long. But I mean, with no other victory points, literally just Bogota should be fine. Oh man, the pleasures of fighting into mountain jungles. Oh, oh boy. Mmm, exciting. Exciting times. Just, uh, just help them out there, I guess. Hey, having more troops can't really hurt. We don't even have our full 120. We want our full 120, so let's get that done. Hey, are we at our full 120? Nope. Hey, we're at 100. For a second, like... The time's going so slowly for a second, I thought we were like, paused. Okay, there we go. There's a full 120. The organization is almost completely gone. And there you go. They have one more capital to go and attack, so. Let's get all these guys and just plow into them. Oh, okay, they closed. Uh, how much manpower do you still have, is my question. You have a lot of resources. Well, not too many resources. But... Is your manpower worth it, or is it not worth it? I do not know how much manpower you still have. That is the question. Columbia, however, in theory, does still have a lot of things. Turn into a puppet, world tension. Is there a way to, like, there's no way to, like, look at the country. I want to, like, look at the country. I wish you could, like, do that. 
think we can do that just that thing. So how about let's just tail states. I mean, hey. If it's manpower, a little bit will come to me. A lot of equipment was seized. Oh my god, that's a lot The military factories are important for us. So this for the uh, sort of civilian factories, so. Hey, US wanna like give me good things, and then hey, British Malaysia wanna like give me good things, thank you. Alright, well, uh, hello there, Mexico. In fact, I can declare war, but it's with a camp. Uh, they have volunteers, so I do not want to do that. Hello there, Ecuador. Still guaranteed by the US, though. If I'm gonna do anything, it's gonna be invading Mexico, because I don't want this Panama Canal thing to just ugh, be my way anymore, so. Focus there. Oh, uh, they already had one there, didn't they? So. Their visions. Okay, we're gonna get everyone over there. Insufficient resources? No, you are wrong. So, what resources were really even in here that are important for me? 17 out of 29. Infrastructure is damaged. Okay, that would make sense. How much uh, construction do we have is my next question. Okay, let's change all of our motorized into me mechanized. I think that would be a good idea. Less speed, but more HP. Uh, I would say there's a lot more of something, but there's really just a lot more... A lot more breakthrough armor piercing. I think, of course, mechanized infantry is just better in, in, you know, in, in a lot of ways, but uh, we need to start producing mechanized infantry if we're going to get anything done. So let's start with... And let's start with giving you a couple, couple things. For a week, uh, if I have a week, sure why not. No template. Well, of course there's no template. I knew that though. How about for this? How's it going for Mexico? They have 14 to 15 divisions and a lot of manpower, but we can grab our own manpower. Since we have enough to get 14%. Okay. This is non-core either, so I don't know how long it'll take to core, but hey, it'll get done. State owner is me, but of course, yeah, uh, it's not really occupation though, is it? It's uh, more, let's check here, click on this, oh yeah, no, only in non-core states, so it's technically core, but it's just... The critical population is just not enough. Yeah, no, there's like no, there's no recruitable population here. It's like almost nothing. So I mean, hey, that's kind of lean. Uh, we have nothing to do except for going through these focuses. Focuses plural be foci. Yes, it would be, wouldn't it? But I'm not gonna say that because that's stupid. Anyways, I wish we could like. You know, form another thing. Like, if we could form Grand Columbia too, if like that makes no sense actually. So, I just pretend it. I just pretend it's nothing actually. Uh, no, uh, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Look for divisions. I want you guys to do your thing. So, like, can you not just do your do your thing? Are you guys doing that after? Where are you going? Stop going there, please. Oh my God, I don't know where you guys were going. All right, stability is increasing. More support. Uh, increased a little bit, you know. It's just something. Uh, let's go justify war goal against uh, Mexico. What do we want to take? Chiapas, probably. Let's take it. I don't know why it takes so long to grab things, but hey, it is. It's doing stuff. Oh, rockets. I swear, I'm gonna get bombed by the U.S. Like I'm literally just gonna get nuked. I, 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 yeah. Oh wait, no. Hold on. I uh, don't want that. Don't want that. Uh, research. Uh, this. No. Hold on. days. Yes, bad. Much faster. So the German Reich, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's big. It is, it's definitely big. Grossver... How did I say that wrong? Grossram Wirtschaft. Wirtschaft. Yes. Grossram Wirtschaft. That's the, uh, that's the name of that. I could join their faction right now. You know, the, the superior faction. Looking at you. 
terrible garbage Japan. I'm like, okay. Yeah, okay. Has to get rid of Korea because they're bad. Has to get rid of China because they lost a war to China. Looking at you, Japan, with all just islands and literally no imperial ambition because you guys are bad. Yeah. That's cool. That's fine. So other than the United States, who else is at war? I mean, it's Canada, of course, who's at war with you know, the Axis, who's going to die, probably. Yeah, I wonder if it would be fun to take Canada. Anyways. Uh, hello, Mexico. They're going to be guaranteed by the United States, and hopefully they will not join, because that would be garbage. We're going to max out our artillery. We're going to be getting the, only the best artillery in the entire world. Only the best. 25 a day. That's not very much, is it? 50 a day. Hey, that's pretty good. 14 a day. Hey, not bad. 2 a day. Eh, it's something. Well, actually. Hey, hold on. Uh, other than... Punching your supplies. Which, I mean, yes, I'll allow, I will allow you to reinforce. Don't worry about it. But, other than reinforcing, I don't need you guys to produce anything. Really. Like, you guys don't need to, you guys don't need to, you know, produce anything right now. So, I might, once you guys are done reinforcing, sort of get rid of that entire production line. Uh, change all my motorized divisions into mechanized. Because from what I can tell, other than being heavier and using more supply and going a little bit slower, uh, they're just sort of superior in every single way possible. So, uh, that's what we're going to be doing when we can. Other than that, we're going to be banning democratic parties. Why do I even have democratic parties? Get that out of here. Let us do one more thing. Like, I don't know, let's grab something at the very least. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, nothing here is useful. Uh, uh, armor, why not? Yeah, let's go with armor. Okay. That's for these guys, I want you guys to sort of chill there too. Yeah, there you go, that's, that's the best I can do with my fleets. Speaking of fleets, uh, how large did you guys actually end up getting to? Ten fleet? Uh, yeah, that's the ten ships. And the second fleet? Ah, not bad, not bad. That's actually a decent number of ships, not gonna lie. It's not great, of course, but hey, it's better than nothing. Forty-eight ships in total. We have six planes. When do we get planes? Show me my planes. I have planes, apparently. Uh, several planes in reserves. We have six fighters. Congratulations, guys. We can do uh, one thing. Okay, yeah, sure. He, he can exist, I suppose. Yeah, uh, they, they have a couple more planes, I can say. A couple more. Just... Just a few. A few. Not, not, yeah, just a few. Reinforcements we need include... Uh... Lots and lots of towed artillery, apparently. Right. These guys need artillery. Well, I mean, let's just go there and then wait. Uh, in fact, let me just... Close my window because it's starting to no even noisier. Hold on, I'll be right back. I apologize for YouTube views, this might be a little bit <sighs> distracting for a couple seconds, but hey, I'll be right back. Oh god, try not to trip over my own PC. Oh boy. Okay, and we're back. Alright, do a time check. 15 minutes in, we're good to go. Right, chat. Any idea how am I going to get this done? I'm going to get this uh, Invasion of Mexico done? Because I have no clue and I'm not really sure if I want to find out. Mountaineer divisions will be useful, I suppose. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. So. What should we do? We have to wait, of course, but... You can see that they have, uh, apparently they don't have any artillery, they just, oh no, they have some artillery, they have some support things. Speaking of support things, I should be grabbing my own support things. Do I have support things even equipped? Not, not equipped, but like rather in production. Uh, no, of course not. You're going to be doing this. 
gonna be doing this slowly, all right? We'll start with that. Let it change it up. Let, let you know change itself up. All right. We're gonna let the yeah. We're gonna let the mechanize just sort of flow in there. That should be good. Um, and we need a lot more mechanized too. Oh god. All right, rocket engines. We can create rocket interceptors apparently. Um, production cost is only 16. Okay, now here comes the question. What are these? I don't know, but they seem cool, so I'm gonna make them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make at least a couple. But anyways, we need to do research actual things that are important. Nuclear bombs, huh? I mean, if you say so, I may, I may as well make a nuke or something. Nukes of Mexicans, I don't know. Okay, and then we got to go to the bottom. Cool tactics, expertise of the partisans. Okay. Give us the maximum possible recruiting manpower in the game for any sort of base nation. I think we're about to hit it, which is going to be a total of maximum. Uh, that's 17% is in total what we can, you know, conscript. So <laughs> that's kind of ridiculous, but hey, there it is. I mean, of course, we can go to the very, very maximum, which is 25% increase. Oh my god. The 25%. Yeah. 25%. Plus. Other things. So it's 25%. Plus our other things. So get rid of the 5%, which brings us down to, instead of 17%, brings us down to 12%, plus 25%. So that's. Back 17%, 37%. Oh my god, that is the maximum possible I think you can even grab. Uh, you guys don't have much? You guys have nothing? Seriously? That's lame. Uh, UK. Fiji France. And Fiji France. Okay. That's cool. Uh, we can't export anything ourselves. That's fine. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's, 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 it's whatever. It's whatever. La Libertad. Uh, I said that in a French accent more than a Spanish accent. I tried in my head to come up with a Spanish accent, but then it didn't work. Hold on, is there any? La Libertad. No, it's the French. Oh my god. La Libertad. No, it sounds more Italian. Oh my god. We're just gonna we're just gonna pretend that just doesn't ever happen at all. Uh, La Libertad. Maybe, maybe that was my best. That was my best shot at it. Oh my god! These guys are actually gods. Hold on, let me just, uh, let me just upgrade these guys. Cause they are clearly chads of the army. Oh my god! Okay. All right. Um. Okay. And you'll think Defender sounds fantastic. Uh, let's do some defense. And you'll think Defender, fantastic. Let's do reinforce rate or division recovery rate. Reinforce. What a freaking Chad. Look at this man. He's fantastic. All right, let's go with this guy too. Let's go with the offensive doctrine. And I think that's the best we can do for him. He's also a jungle rat because of... Please look at these medals. Look at these chads. Oh my god. These are some generals, I'll tell you what. German generals at the beginning of the game got nothing on my guys. Maybe they got something on this guy because he's only level 3. This guy's level 6. Oh, that's ridiculous. It's fantastic too. Alright, so how close is that? Uh... Independence of Garen... Uh, of course, I mean, they, they can join, but... Will they join? That's my question. Besides, we, we definitely can't take on the entire American army, but hey, the Mexican army, hey, that's, uh, that's something we can do. We got no navy. Uh, we got more manpower, too. 
I'm not sure how much of an army they can actually pull off, to be honest. Deterrence, they probably got some land forts here, don't they? No? They have deterrence, but they're not building land forts? Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Speaking of land forts, just in case we want to pull a strat again. Let's do it that way. And uh, let's send this to the bottom. Get some forts done. Just in case we want to pull a strategy again. What? Oh, wait, I just said that. What? Okay. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Okay. So, uh, anything else we can do? Palms of the peace. Let's <laughs> if we're going to go to peace. That's fine. Let's see if we're going to stay at peace, is what I should say. Oh, what? I just zoomed extremely far in to the Hearts of Iron Force line. <laughs> okay. German Reich, what are you guys doing? I could join your faction, but you guys are at war with everyone. Yeah, I kind of want to go to war with the, the states, or not the states, with the Mexicans first. So, I mean, real question, real talk, just, you know, fascist to, to fascist country, you, you know what I'm trying to say. Okay, so Germany, do you guys want to, like, invade the UK or something? I mean, I just it's a suggestion, but at the same time, I think it would be great, because, I mean, they have 44 ships and, like, you could you could do you could do it like you could do it yeah you could do it like right now like I'm I'm just you could do it you could you could invade them they have like no ships they have less ships than I do I'm just just gonna point it out there oh but then you guys also have no ships why does no one ever build ships no one builds ships like ever the AI does build ships even the UK has no ships. <laughs> I always build ships as Germany, so you can invade the UK faster. Yeah, what's the difference between these two? Just about nothing. Well, let's go with the minimum. Actually, no, we could probably get something better. Like, hey, construction? Well, no, no. Engineering? Uh, let's get some more description. Because, because we can. Literally just because we can. Man, when this war goal is done, it's going to be... Wild in my guy. So I'm gonna join the Axis right as I hop into Mexico. Right? Oh, guard. Oh, oh guard, yes. Oh, God. I just realized something. Uh, naval invasions aplenty. Hello, United States, and France, and the UK. Nice to see that you have a naval basis there. Hmm. If I were to capture them for Daddy Germany, well, that would be uh, that would be interesting. Wouldn't it? I could say, well, I mean, that's kind of a problem. Well, hold on, let me just do a little bit of thinking in my head. The United States does not have military access through. Ah, oh, darn it! They're getting geared to the independence of, so they do kind of have military access through. God damn it! I mean, hey, why not just, um... I mean, hey, oh, why not? See if we can get the, if we can get the states on our side. Oh. That would be a meme, actually. That would just be an absolute meme. Oh. That would be... I could start a civil war in the Americas. In just, in just the United States. I don't know how well it's gonna work, but hey chat, you know it might it might just end up working out in our favor. Just gotta just gotta point it out. You know. Sometimes strategies don't seem like they'll work, but hey, sometimes they do. And we're at about 20 minutes in. Time's going very, very slow. What if I zoom in? Does it go faster? Hold on. Eh, not a whole lot. Oh, by the way, chat. Uh, something interesting. I say chat, but I'm also going to be posting this YouTube. YouTube. Both of you. Both of you. Commenters and chat. Uh, Stellaris. That's all I have to say for you. Stellaris. Do that information what you might. But hey, Stellaris. Future. Gonna happen. Uh, don't know when. Maybe when summer hits, which is going to be fairly soon. But yeah, when summer hits. You can count on some uh, good old Stellaris hitting you up beginning of summer. It's going to be great. Super excited. I love Stellaris. It's going to be such a, great, such a great campaign to go through. I already know what I'm going to do. It's going to be great. And uh, I'll have to wait and see what it is. Yeah, 100%. Stellaris. Okay. 
so the only person, the only people that could really like fight me would be the United States, the UK, Canada can exist kind of mildly. You can do a thing if you want to. And you're probably not going to. Mexico can do a thing with me, and that's about it. Other than that, I'm expecting Axis to you know kind of do their thing and try to invade something at the very least, some sort of naval invasion. I mean, you guys have no ships, you can't even naval invade. Oh my god. Let me guess, the US has no ships. Oh my god, no one has. No one owns ships in this entire video game. I just don't understand. I just do not understand how they have no ships. If, do I have the most ships in the world? I gotta ask this question now. This is this is the kind of thing you gotta ask. Is there a statistics button I can hit to see if I have the most ships in the entire world right now? I, I'm not sure there's a button. Is there a way to? No, there's no button for that. This is it's actually it's, this this is a joke, right? I mean, you guys have only a couple more convoys than I do, like a hundred or so. You guys have so little convoys. So many planes. So many men. But no ships. And you all need so many ships, please. British War on Greater Finland. I mean, they're, they're, kinda, they're kinda dead. Hmm, oh well. Uh, let's just take a look at our, uh, at our justification, see how it's going. Oh, we should also be taking a look at other things. Now I think about it. Uh, like, recording time. Which means it's, like, right about to be done, so... That's it, we finished our war with, uh, what's their name, like? <sighs> Columbia, oh my god. Literally just can't get them, I forgot about it. But yeah, finished our war with Columbia, which is absolutely fantastic. Much to the thanks of a... I have a tip coming in from Twitch, which is fantastic, but, of course, that's going to be the end of not just, like, this episode, but, like, the entire recording session, which means it's going to be a couple days before I start recording again, but hey, guess what, we got six episodes done in one recording session, which is fantastic, but I'll catch you guys in the next episode, see ya.